Tonight's budget has laid bare the challenges of a structural deficit despite this year's one-off windfall. The ongoing costs of the NDIS, aged care, defence and health will dominate the decades to come. Joining me live now to dissect and debate our fiscal future, my Sky News colleagues, former Labor Senator Stephen Conroy, Sky News presenters Sherry Markson and Paul Murray. Great to see you all. Sherry, first to you, what did you think? Look, I think the big question from tonight's budget is the inflation question. And that is why this was in many respects such a difficult budget for Jim Chalmers to hand down, his second that he's handed down. He knew the risks that if there was too much spending, the RBA would be forced to lift rates again, uh, that if it added pressure on inflation, that could potentially crash the economy, lead to entrenched inflation. Uh, Jim Chalmers, in his speech tonight, made the point that we have a very tough two years ahead when it comes to the global outlook. There are still fears of a global recession. So he had to be very careful, and that's why he says he has banked 82% of the revenue surge. He says he's been very careful. He doesn't think it's going to contribute to inflation and, in fact, might even reduce it. But we heard economist Chris Richardson, a very highly respected economist, uh, he was on television tonight and also in the Australian newspaper, saying that we will have to see whether he has got that balance right and that the RBA will be keeping a very close eye and that it does take a while for government spending to work its way through the economy. But he says this is a large amount of government spending. And, Kieran, I think the other piece to this budget is just how much more taxes are being collected by the government. And the figures show 116 billion, 116 billion boost in tax receipts over five years. That is an enormous amount. And the bulk of that from middle and high income Australians, from companies uh, and from commodities as well. And so in that sense, and I heard Andrew Clannell call it earlier a Robin Hood budget, and in that sense, this is a classic Labor redistribution budget. A lot more taxes, $116 billion more over five years, and then you've got that cost of living package helping out those most, most vulnerable. So a redistribution budget in that sense.